Okay, fella. Why don't you watch where you're going? Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some... some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Place Sandini is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello, sir. Hey there. Hey, sir. Hey, thank you. Right here. Hey there, miss. Hey, folks. Hi there. Hello. Hey. How can I help? Be careful. How you doing? Hello, ma'am. Mister. Excuse me. Uh-huh. 
Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. They made me do it, I swear. Hay alguien ahí? Hello, por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Here. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. I got fresh vegetables to sell here. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres. Si eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Hey there. Do you know if you need some help? Good to see you again. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, old brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Out of my 
way? Yeah. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's, it's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. <gasps> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm. I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one asks for money at me, I will I'm already. Die down. Hey, boy. Listen, bit of a weird 
question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Let's go, boy.
long faces and sour expressions, but you're forgetting one thing. It's a good time to be alive. These are the best of times for men such as us. This is the age of science, the age of reason, the age where a man can be what he wants, irrelevant to birth or, or other restrictions, lack intelligence. <laughs> a half you fellas don't realize how lucky you are. This is a free time. Sure, old Dutch has led us into a scrape, but we gonna be fine. I was telling one of those lovely ladies just now. Hey, don't cry, sugar. Hey, Mary Beth. Evening. Evening, Arthur. How are you, Mary Beth? Good. How is the big party at the mayor's house? Huh, not really my thing, but we got some good information out of it. Okay, well, let's talk more later. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> what is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming! Yes. 
Windows covered quickly, John. You take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. You all ladies, get Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Driscoll in. Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me! Who's this lady here? Always had a fondness for women. Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming! Get inside! And miss all this? Come on, Arthur! Now we go back. We need... You in the house, Mrs. Sandler! Oh, no, they don't! Got a hit! Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. 
opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Sorry, I should go focus on my devotionals. Hey. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. Javier. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. If you say so. You okay? I will be. I always had a soft spot for that, Kieran. I know he did. I'm sorry. Good morning to you. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. I see your friend. I'll help you out presently. What can I do for you?
Thanks, partner. What? There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. How are we gonna get enough money for the passage of a whole boat, a captain's discretion, and land enough to keep us all? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Hand don't over make all us kill you now. Mr. M, Quick. leave these Sorry. fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. It's your choice. All your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. Let my skin sigh. I said, open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Okay. Give me everything you got. Here. Quick. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. All right, shoot us some space, boys. Look out on the right. Do this. Oh, we got some in those alleyways, Arthur. That guy must have called in every cop in the city. We got some riders on the left. Come 
Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Yeah. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all.
I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the law. Enough to start you drinking. Howdy, fellas. Glad you dropped Hello. in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. I heard one of the damn brave ones who's been bothering his nanny. How's your look? Too sober to smile. Barman always has a solution. Hello. Gentlemen. Hello there. Do I hear this damn Clementine song again? Come on, pal. Creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way? So I'm on a tight schedule. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> oh, come to Mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't... don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? You gonna take me? 
For what? Bastard! Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy! Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. What was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke. Prematurely. and make it quick. can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't wider than white. 
Leaving me, huh? Show. Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. <laughs> what you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right. on. And right. I'll tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Hey, we're looking for some escapees. Got posters all over town if you'd like to help. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Excuse I need me. Ah! Easy. We need the law here. Has anyone seen? Let's go.
What's a mask for? Where are you hiding from? Ain't the first time. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Pissed off. No more than usual. Hey, watch it, Marston.
you all right there? So so. I know the feeling. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. What are you hanging around for?
Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done. Here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gone. There you go. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, what well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Where's this shot?
You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where hmm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Time to go, boy. Excellent, excellent. What's, What's all this problem about? Try again. Please. Please. It is M. Morning. Mm. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Sir, Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! He just said the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. By Saturday. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Wind is just awful. Thanks, mister. Doesn't seem like stopping anytime soon. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> God damn.
Trying to scare with that gun out. Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but 
My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Welcome to our humble place. Hey, who the hell do you Missy? think you are? Run along. Personally, I prefer the fiery pits. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh... He wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But... I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck.
Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Well, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. The final piece of the puzzle. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey! That's no place for you! Don't worry about it. Guess they've been getting robbed too much. What's this place coming to? So... Thank you. Really? Yep. Yep.
crazy now. I'm here for Wilson McDaniel. <laughs> Treat for you. Yes, Paul bastard. So, what you got for me? Cork then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? 
Lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you, humanely. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, with strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. Electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I.
The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! You can count me out of this. You're coming with me! Bring him Here. to me! I got him. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. to put some holes in you, mister. Hey there! Mister? Bonnie? Watch yourself. Dry my eyes out. Watch yourself. I like this one.
Well, one moment, please. This is extremely hey. delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Hey, partner. Hello, mister. Thank you. 
Easy. Welcome back, Arthur. Come on now, boy. Get over here. The way I see it, we're still here. And he's still right here. I mean, look, you're all free to think what you want to think, but for me, I still believe in him. Because, well, he did what he did. But he did it for love. For all of us. Hey. Yes. Hi, Arthur. I feel bad. They didn't deserve that, but listen, I just think. And I've been thinking about this a lot. I just think Dutch loves us. And being loved, well, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna make Arthur, it. Arthur, come up here. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh Driscoll. Pinkerton. Hello, Javier. Doesn't know where we Hello. are at this point. Come here, Arthur. You okay? Yes. Yeah. Just thinking about Karen. Guess he was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? Right there, Morgan. Yep. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. Oh, well. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and... Stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see.
There he is. What kind of hell blue got all that blood on you, Arthur? Each to their own, my friend. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. If you even noticed, we moved camp. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Miss Jackson? You joining us here, Arthur? You wake? You play well. So, no more curing. No. I was just starting to like him, too. I know. me you're driving yourself crazy well I should get back to it <laughs> 